Tom, let me ask you about an incident that happened in Smoky Mountain. And I don't know if everybody knows this, but I, I found it a, a, a great story. There was a story where you and Tracy Smothers one night on the highway, which was instigated by right. Ricky Morton. And you pulled, you was in one car, Tracy was in another one. And I think Ricky Morton said, why don't we just stop here and settle this once and for all. And you stopped the cars, you got out, you had a few words, then you started fighting. And then the police car pulled up. Kind well, of tell us that story, run through it real quick. Well, what happened, what actually brought this what, on? What was the beef about? I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> we, we, do you remember Smoky Mountain when we did the deal with WCW? We went, we went, okay, well, uh, w, Bill Watts was, was with WCW at the time. Jimmy had uh, worked a deal where we would go over and do some TV for them and switch talent. Okay. Yeah. Well, we did a deal on TV with Rock and Roll. We did Fall Brawl, okay, for that match, but Watts left before that. After we did that, uh, uh, I got we, we got a call from WWE. He said, hey, would you guys like to come do a match at SummerSlam with the Steiners? Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm not the brightest bulb on the, on the tree, but I understood what what we were doing in Smoky Mountain Dutch, you know, yeah. and, and you've been around for for a couple minutes too. We weren't setting the world on fire. It's not like we're drawing these record houses like Rock and Roll and Midnight did. And when you guys went when they went to Louisiana and, and Dundee brought the crew and you and, and yeah. it was hot shotted and you guys did it and boom, that wasn't necessarily happening. We were doing okay, but it wasn't uh, stellar business. So I understood they needed a cornet. And then for whatever reason, Jimmy's a valuable asset in professional wrestling. No matter where he goes, he's a valuable Ooh. asset. As hot-headed as he is, that's what makes him tick. Uh, well, anyway, so we go, and, and it's supposed to be a one-off against Steiners. Well, then we get another match. And then we get Survivor Series against Rock and Roll in Boston. And <laughs> we're coming back after Thanksgiving. And Ricky Robert and Jimmy and I uh, – I think it was Ricky's car or Robert's car, whatever it was. But we were all going to ride together from the airport. You know, we can grab some some food at Cracker Barrel and then go to the town that night. And this had been during a spurt where, and you remember Brian Lee? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Brian, I remember him. Yeah, I could forget him. Uh, but Brian and I were riding together at that time. He would stay with me occasionally. And when he was in Knoxville on this end and everything else. And Tracy had been potatoing people and 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 just accidents happened. And Tracy was a little but, bit explain knock, potatoing. Knocking the living hell out of people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he split Brian's I call eye it open. Watermelon. Yes, watermelon. <laughs> he, he, Brian's eye was out to here and to other people. He just he was he was he was on a roll there of just uh hitting, you know, just things happening. And I would, you know, prior to this, when we were all living in Nashville, uh, we would get a van and drive to Knoxville for the, for the Smoky Mountain stuff because we all hadn't moved to Knoxville yet. And I would kind of poke the bear with Tracy. You know, I'd play, be a smart ass. And, and, and Ricky told me one time, he says, you know, that boy's going to go off on you one day. I said, no, he knows I'm playing. Anyway, we're coming back from Survivor Series. <laughs> And we're talking in the car and Ricky said something about Tracy. And I said, Tracy is a friggin' idiot. And you can quote me. <laughs> so, a friggin' so, idiot. Uh, well, I didn't say friggin', but you I said was another word. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to keep it. So you guys don't have yeah. to do too much editing. All right. Uh, but, but, and then we keep doing our deal and laughing and bullshit. And we get to the town. Now, I'm riding back with Brian that night, and uh, Jimmy's catching around with somebody else, and Ricky and, and Tracy or whatever. They're, they're, they're fixed. Get in the locker room. Everything's cool. And then Brian goes – it was a battle royal that night, but Brian goes out and works with Tracy first, and we're all out there watching the matches. And, and Tracy's not – he's pissed, and he's pointing back. He's looking at me, pointing, going like <laughs> – from the ring. Yes, from the ring. 
And I go, oh, geez. Were the fans looking at you? Well, the fan didn't know what he was pointing at, but once he did, th- there was a couple people, but it wasn't, it was more, you know, you, Tracy. Yeah. They didn't know what he was doing. I didn't, I knew what he was doing, but he wasn't working. <laughs> he was hot. And, and, uh, Jimmy was at ringside with Brian and we come back and Brian goes, I don't know what the hell was wrong with him. I said, I do. I know. Yeah. And I told him, I said, I said what I said in the car. And I'm sure Ricky told him. We all go out for the battle royal. So now, Ricky I'm, stoozed you off. Oh, hell. <laughs> you find that bastard. hard to believe. Yeah, I know. Doesn't sound like Ricky. Uh, but so we get to the battle royal, and I'm ready to be the martyr and just say, look, let him hit me. <laughs> let him get it out because he'll feel better. He'll feel better, but he'll feel bad the next day. And yeah. I'll have yeah, – I'm ready for that. Well, all the boys are grabbing him, and I'm saying, let him go. Let him get it out of his system. They said, no, no, no. They pulled the battle royal, pulled him out of the battle royal. It was all screwed up. It was a horrible night. So I'm riding back with Brian. He's driving. We stopped, got beer, whatever we did. And we pass Ricky and Robert on the side of the road, you know, taking a week, piss, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, Brian, pull over. I want to to straighten this out now. I want to talk to Trace. He goes, no, 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 just leave it alone. Well, we're supposed to work an angle against uh, mm-hmm. White Boy and Tracy. And I said, no, I'm not going to do this until I'm not going to get in the room with this guy if he's, if he's out of his mind. So we keep going, and then we see rock and roll, and then they pass us on the road. And I said, Brian, blink your lights, pull them over. So Brian blinks his lights, pull them over. Now, as we pull over, <laughs> Rick- <laughs> Ricky's and it's driving. pitch black dark. Yeah, it's on the side of the road now. Okay. A two and lane, a two lane. Two, well, it's like, yeah, two lanes over here and two lanes over here, right? Okay. Okay. And uh, Tracy's in the back with his knee up. He had hurt his knee that night or ankle or whatever it was. Well, Ricky gets out, <laughs> Robert gets out, and Tracy sees me get out. And he goes, oh, God, now. and he tries to get the seat up and all this stuff. He's going to get out, and he's going to come over to me and say, I'll kick your ass, put your down, take that karate, I'll stick it up your ass, you son of a And he's pointing all this stuff. So, Tracy, what's wrong with you? Calm down. Oh, you want to talk, you want, you want talk shit to me? <laughs> throwing the punches and all the, the, the <laughs> you know, he's not hitting me, but he's throwing the jabs. I'm going, God. And I looked at Ricky. I said, thanks, Ricky. And he says, the hell well, he says something else and then push me. I threw a beer bottle at him, missed him by a mile, missed Ricky by a mile. I couldn't hit the side of a barn. But anyway, so finally, uh, Tracy and me wind up in front of our cars, you know, and Ricky and Robert and Brian are, are milling around. I don't know what they were doing, but later found out that there were some girls who stopped to find out what's going on. You see the bleach blonde, you know, Brian mm-hmm. Lee and Ricky Morton and Ricky said some choice words to them and they went on. So about that time, as me and Tracy are having words, we go like we're locking up. And it's like the thing where I said, one guy doesn't want to fight and the other guy's glad. Yeah. And I don't know which one I was, but I didn't want yeah. to fight. And I was glad he didn't want to fight because he, if he wanted to fight, you're going to hit some, you're going to hit me. Yeah. You're going to knock me out. You're going to kick me in the balls. You're going to do something. He didn't want to do that. He, it was a lockup. It was a working lockup. And I went, oh, man. Thank God. But at that time, seriously, it was all like a Keystone Cops movie. We heard, we saw the blue lights. I don't know if he put the the siren like a blip or anything on there because what the hell are y'all doing? Tracy says, listen, you got kids. I got kids. We can't go to jail tonight. What? Okay. <laughs> so we so we went up. We said, officer, we just wrestled down the road here, and we, we thought about some spots to, to try on the side of the road. We just want to pull them and try them. We're just playing around. She says, well, you don't do that in my county. You got 15 seconds to get out of here or all y'all going to jail. So, yeah. Yes, sir. We got in the car and rode back to Knoxville. I called Cornette and told him, I said, I'm not getting in the ring with him. He's going to be like that. And she went, oh, God. So we had promos in Morristown the next day. I got there early. I went and sat in the babyface locker room for Tracy to come in because they were doing promos first. So when Tracy finally came in, he came and goes, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I love you and hugged me and all that stuff. Because you know how Tracy <laughs> could be. 
That's what I mean. It was like if you wanted to fight me, if he was that mad, but he just he was Tracy. He he had that uh those moments, you know? But yeah, but Tracy, he was nuts. <clears throat> Tracy's not with us any longer, but he he was a great guy. But he yeah. had sometimes he had his eccentric moments. Well, who doesn't in this in this crazy I don't. Thing? No, I know. 